welcome to Emma's Four. And today, uh, we got some sunshine possibly today. Uh, early in the morning still, we're gonna be doing some getting ready with me. Uh, the nice thing about this is it seems like some of the uh, you should just walk into the ocean kind of vibe is lifted and we're a little more uh, joyful and ready for a, an awesome day ahead, theoretically. Um, I have been wanting to play with the Barbie palette because uh, all of my friends on Facebook are posting their, their Barbie uh, little meme picturey things. So, um, and the new trailer came out for Barbie, for the Barbie movie. So I just thought, you know, it's a sign we should do this. Um, anyway, I'm just having first world problems this morning. I put too much cream in my coffee. <sighs> Sigh. Anyway, let's get ready. Um, so because I'm I'm doing a, a Barbie-ish look, um, I'm going to have more of a soft face um, and then, you know, the fabulous eye look. Um, it's not quite blue eyeshadow, it's teal, but we're gonna do it. So anyway, let's get started. Um, I was gonna say let's get dangerous, but that's totally different, <laughs> not Barbie. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna start out with the, the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury, um, and just do a light, light bronzer. Um, I have a different blush and highlighter, so we're just using the, the bronzer today. Um, the thing about the Charlotte Tilbury things, for the most part, um, what I complain about as far as the eyeshadows, as far as not being able to get a, a vavoom look uh, from the eyeshadows, is what I like about a lot of the face products, is that this is just a soft, soft, really dependable sort of wear. Um, so anyway, there's that. Um, I have been, uh, my partner is still back east for a couple days, so I've been watching all the things that I know he's not interested in watching. So I've watched The Lost City. Uh, last night I watched Free Guy, <laughs> really enjoyed that. Um, been watching, like, let's see, I watched The Tomorrow War also. Um, and I've been really happy with everything I've been watching. Um, and then at lunchtime I've been binge watching uh, Queer Eye Austin. <laughs> So anyway, my viewing has been a lot of fun uh, all over the place, but fun. Um, I'm going to use the LH Cosmetics blush. This is the lightest shade in Aria or Area. <laughs> it's a morning, such a morning. Um, so anyway, this is the, the lighter, more cool toned pink blush. And I use that other uh, shade as a highlighter. Um, so anyway, uh, along with Barbie, which again, I'm super excited about seeing, um, that's Ju Ju July. Um, and so I've been enjoying seeing the, the commercials and everybody's uh, little picture meme. I've forgotten what they officially call that when you take a picture and do a thing. Um, hopefully this, <laughs> I think I'm ready for vacation. Uh, I have the day off tomorrow and theoretically a half day today so apparently my mind is on vacation already uh, which is okay and then I'm gonna take that lighter shade and just use it like a highlighter or a blush topper so I also today had picked up a new lipstick or two and so we're gonna get to see that in action um, this year so far has been like the, the year of the lipstick for me. I've really been enjoying and playing with, with lip products, um, which is great. Uh, but you know, like it, it's getting towards a season where everybody's going to be looking at, at bronzer and, oh, I best you <laughs> right side up. Uh, this is the Glam Light Barbie. So we're going to play with some teal kind of colors there. Uh, kind of match my ensemble, my ensemble, my whatever. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's such a morning. I'm going to go with my fluff, fluffy brush. Uh, we're going to just do a little bit of, of this guy for like a crease color. Um, and then we're diving into the teals. Um, technically, we could do the browns, but I'm just not feeling it. 
you can actually get a, a more neutral read out of this palette, but um, but why would you? I have other neutral palettes that I'm probably going to reach for before that. But like if this was the only palette I was taking someplace, I could still get a toned down neutral look. I feel like this this palette, the Barbie palette, has been just a real fun and surprise palette. Like surprise that I, I enjoy it so much. Um, I feel like like the Chucky palette was really lovely, but it's definitely more of a fall fall winter palette for me. Um, so I feel like come fall. Chucky's going to be making a resurgence, <laughs> as it should be, um, but the, the Barbie palette is just so colorful and fun, um, and I have to kind of reacquaint myself. One of the problems with having a, you know, again, first world problems, um, with having a large eyeshadow collection is sometimes with the, the larger, more complicated palettes, you kind of forget the nuances between shades. So like I was, I was swatching this morning between these guys and then some of the uh, shimmers and there's a lot of difference. Like some of them, the color tone is maybe not different, but the, the amount of light refraction or do they have sparklies um, or do they have duochromes? Um, so that was really what was interesting to me is like, okay, I need to reacquaint myself a little bit with that. Like an old friend who I haven't seen in a while. Um, but I had to do that this morning because I knew I wanted to use this palette, but I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with things. So like my eyes are all bleary and I'm stumbling around. I'm like trying to swatch some eyeshadow while I'm having breakfast. So would not recommend. You end up getting a uh, eyeshadow on your bagel. Theoretically, theoretically that could happen. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in. So I wanna do, I wanna go teal. So I'm going to go do my lighter shade and then deepen it up with these guys with the blues because I want the blue to be the base for it. So I'm going to go in with the, the lighter tealy kind of color and just go right here. I feel like Bob Ross, a little tree lives here. So my song for today, um, I was also while I was trying to to swatch eyeshadow and uh, eat my bagel, um, I had uh, on repeat Katy Perry. This is how we do, because that's how I was feeling. I was trying to to enliven myself by by throwing some Katy Perry in the mix. Um, so I'll try and link that down there so you could enjoy also. Um, so I'm getting over into into more blue now and then as we go here, like the bluish teal. So anyway, my mind's a little jumbly today and all over the place, but in a fun way. Um, okay, now we're gonna start in with the, the blue, the deeper teals and the blue. I'm not sure you'll be able to see the differentiation, but just maybe, just maybe. And then we're gonna come back in with some sparkles. Okay, let me see if I can find my... Nope. Aha, pencil brush. Okay, so we're gonna do the, the deepest shade with my pencil brush so I can be a little more precise with it today. Um, so we'll go underneath first. And I think that's one of the things that you don't notice when you look at this at first is how deep you can go. The shadows are super pigmented, and so 
the ones that have the, the deeper color read in the pan actually go on that deep on the eyes. So you can go. There's another song we could play, the Janet Jackson, We Go Deep. That's a good one. We go deep and we don't get no sleep. I should probably not sing this morning though. I'm still a little froggy and probably not in tune, but that's when I get out of practice. That's when I start, you know, <laughs> are you in key? Are you, you know, like, but I do enjoy me a good karaoke, which I haven't done for a while. That's the, the Katy Perry song, you know, we sucking real bad at Mariah karaoke. It's so funny because um, here in LA, there's a couple of, of spaces that uh, I've been to that are kind of fun, but they have uh, two bars in different places in the city. It's the Bigfoot <laughs> Lounge, and it's all decorated like a four service, like Smokey the Bear and the four service signs. You know, you got people wearing their hats, <laughs> their John Deere hats, who have never seen a John Deere tractor. Um, although you have a lot of transplants in LA, so there are people that have definitely seen John Deere tractors, but usually they're not wearing the hats. Because <laughs> there's a reason they're here in LA and not in, you know, the field. So anyway, so now we're gonna go sparkly. Um, I wanna do this, this one right here as a little, little topper. Um, so this is kind of a little, has a little little shift to it, a little blue green. Uh, the other place that uh, I used to go all the time is called the Winchester Room, but it was a great, great uh, kind of divey bar. Um, not fancy, like you can go all sorts of fancy karaoke places. You can go places here that have live bands that back you up. Um, but I kind of like the the low key watering hole. Um, so the, the Winchester room was great. Um, let's see, I think, I think that's really it. I got some, some bling on there, but it's not overly blingy. Or maybe it is, and I've lost my sense of <laughs> decency. Um, so I, yeah, I think we're gonna call that an eye look. Um, the thing that I, I knew that I enjoyed about the the Winchester room was the fact that um, one of the first nights I was there, there was a a, a fairly old, uh, toothless guy in the corner that's drunk a little too much, but he was there, and he would always sing Oklahoma but everybody was so supportive and would sing along with him and just totally back that up. Um, so it's like, it's like a very supportive dysfunctional family <laughs> that drinks a lot and sings karaoke. So um, I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> uh, I did when I first got here, uh, there was a karaoke place uh, at the, like on the fourth floor of the Hollywood and Highland. Um, little mall sort of center there um, that had the huge elephant statues um, that they're, they're taking all that down now because it has some connotation to it that's not great. Um, but anyway, there was a great place. It was uh, the Shabu Shabu, it's a uh, Koji Shabu Shabu. And we do karaoke there. And that was the, one of the first places that I went when I moved to LA. And it was pretty fabulous. I have some good memories there. Um, but when I settled in, the Winchester room was really my, my speed. And there's one thing about having a good karaoke group 
uh, you know, you have some people that, that sing the same things all the time. That's their, their song. Um, but you've got some people that really shift it up and there's a lot of, there's a lot of talented people in LA. Um, so you got some pretty, pretty good singers, but even if you're not a great singer, if you have the right group, they're very supportive, which I appreciated. Uh, okay. So I feel like that's my, my eye look. We'll put the spectacles back on and we'll do some little lipstick. Um, ah, there you are. All right. So, um, I picked up two of the NARS, uh, the new lipstick. It's like the Afterglow lip balm had a baby with the lipstick and, and there it is. Um, Slim Bullet. I picked up two shades um, and I had to ask my Sephora people to dig it out from out in back because they had it, but they hadn't put it out yet. But it was said online that it was available in store and I'm like, I would like this please. And they gave it to me, so it was very nice. Um, I got the two shades, I got Dolce Vita. Um, what I wanted to do was get a, uh, a softer shade and then uh, something that was more uh, kerpow. Because I wanted to see what it would, would be like. So that's the, the Dolce Vita. Um, and then this one is, hang on just a second. Voltage. There we go. That took me a long time to find out. Um, but the the formula is good. I like it. Um, it's not like groundbreaking as far as the formula goes, but it's really nice and the shades are nice. Um, I think they have 10 of these guys. Um, So it's just like a, a, a lipstick, um, applies nicely. Um, a little bit shinier than some of their, their other lipsticks, but it's not, the Afterglow Lip Balm feels more of like that chapsticky sort of feel to it. Like it has more, more of that uh, to it. And these have the creaminess and the slippiness of a very kind of the thin formula. But like this is the sort of thing, again, it's not groundbreaking in its formula, but this is the kind of thing that you could put in your purse and just glide on depending on the color. And it's something that I could see myself using up. So it's that kind of a regular, dependable, pretty, uh, good color. Um, it's, you know, they have claims about like eight hour hydration, you know, that tries to make it look like you know, you're not gonna get eight hours of wear. You're just, this wears like a regular shiny lipstick. Um, shiny, glossy lipstick. But it's pretty comfortable. It does feel hydrating. I don't think any of these things is like 10 hour hydration. No, no, if you have, if you have lips that are dry, you're gonna need to reapply. I'm rhyming, oh, that's terrible. Anyway, but uh, great looking packaging. This doesn't have any color differentiation for the different colors uh, like the Power Matte ones did. Um, but pretty, pretty, it's pretty, <laughs> I like it. Okay, so there's the there's the look. I don't know that it feels, it doesn't look like Barbie perhaps, but I feel like Barbie, so there you go. Anyway, let me get a little closer, don't panic. So we got a little color to our cheeks, got a little color to our lips, and then we got a lot of color to our eyeballs. <laughs> um, but again, my glasses cover a lot of things where it doesn't necessarily look like I'm way out there. It's just a little color reading a little sparkle when I turn my head. So anyway, I know I was all over the place today, but at least I've got, you know, first world problems and some songs stuck in my head. And that's not too bad. Uh, I'll take that, especially considering how lately it's been kind of a hard ride. So anyway, hope you are all doing well and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.